Hello, I'm R.L. Stein. I write the Goosebumps books. All right, move more Goosebumps, more Goosebumps. Here we go. We're going inside the spooky house. We're not even gonna. Oh, it's not gonna let me in. Oh, that's my locker key, not my house key. Oh, it's behind the house. Uh, behind the house. We'll do it next door. Back down to the street. So I have to go behind the house. So there's an enormous creepy mansion where your house should be. Yes, we talked about that. All right, let's move to the backyard. Key is under the stairs, I believe. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. Peaceful, quiet blankets the enclosure. Uh, look at the hole. There's a key. I'm going to take. I'm going to shake the key. Oh, there's the key. Nailed it. Listening as the spare key clanks around inside. After a moment, it falls out. I'm taking that. All right, back out of the hole. Let's open up. The, oh, I can only look at the grill. I'm going to take the toy truck. I have like 9,000 things in my, in my bags. Uh, you don't need all this stuff. I'm going to take the spade. I can go back to the uh, the woods. Wee. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the woods and dig up. It's like I probably should go into my house. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the woods, to the creepy tree, and we will go, so I can also hit, I think I can just hit down and go back, okay, okay. So I can go back out to the woods, and go to the creepy tree, and dig with my spade, probably, no, I don't want to look at the trees, I want to go this way, oh my god, what the hell is that? Uh, I should probably just leave. Uh, first of all, let's do this. Save. Hopefully I don't die. Let's give him the T-Rex. It killed me. <laughs> Beast from the East. It's a high-level adversary. Alright, well. I'm gonna back out. We're just gonna go back home. So that's good. It's gatekeeping me from doing certain things. All right, let's go into the tunnel. Then we're gonna go. Yep, back into the tunnel. We're gonna go into the wash. I'm over here dying a bunch. All right, so we have the house key. Let's go ahead and try and go into our now creepy mansion home. Key. I like how it's on a paper clip. Wow, look at that. It still works. It's a completely different house, but the key still works. Maybe it is my house. He says as he walks into a completely different house. Spooky. Not my house. I would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Alright, where do we go first? The stairs? Alright, let's go in here. Let's move into the archway. The dining room. Oh my god, who is that? She eyes you intent. It's a woman. She eyes you intently like a hawk searching for prey. Um, okay. Hi, can I? Prune juice. I'm not going to drink that. Toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, E. Come give me a big kiss. Uh, no way. Taken back by her forward request. You aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Uh, I'm going to be suspicious of you, lady. Something just isn't right about her. I don't have an Aunt Dahlia. Of course you do. I'm a distant relative and haven't visited since you were very little. Uh, I don't think so. She's going to kill me if I keep saying no. Who are you really? Well, of course she wouldn't. I'm from your father's side of the family. I'm not budging. I'm not doing it. Sorry, lady. I don't have any idea who you are. I'm waiting for her to eat me. I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. Okay. All right, fine. We'll talk to her. All right. Yeah, let's give her a kiss. He hesitantly walked to the woman, then leaning to kiss her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice you can't quite describe. That's better. Now your Aunt Dahlia poured a glass of prune juice, your favorite, down the hatch. Alright, fine. Uh, it smells thick. Thick and dark. Like the blood of her enemies. Hold your nose and take a large gulp, hoping to finish it as quickly as possible. It burns as it slides down your throat. Yep, here we go. I got poison. 
Exhaustion creeps over you and your vision blurs. You feel older. Shoulders hunch and your chest sinks closer to the table. A raspiness grows in your lungs with every breath. I think it might be nice to take a nap just for a few minutes. As you close your eyes, you look up at Aunt Dahlia. <laughs> She's laughing. I'm dead. <laughs> it's like a choose your own adventure. Whoa, what's this? Yikes, three children materialize before your eyes, which you are rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. Hey, dude. What's happening? You look sad. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. If I look, it'll wake Mom and Dad. Okay. Let's see what this guy... Uh, please? Looks toward... I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks away embarrassed. After a moment, he continues, You believe me, don't you? This little girl looks sassy. No! So, no sooner do you look in her direction than she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed in here. Go away, go away, go away. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grumbles. I was born on a leap year. I know things. Oh, so she's one of those insufferable people that's like, I'm actually five years old. I'm actually five. Okay, lady, whatever. All right, well, um, I guess we can go. Oh, that's the front door. What about this door? Can I open it? Uh, come on. Uh, yeah, that's probably not good. It's locked. All right, well, let's go upstairs. We're not going to go drink the prune juice. Send the stairs to rooms unknown. Staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. The portrait. Never seen this portrait before. It looks like a sea captain. Maybe his grandpa before you were born. Probably not. Alright, let's go ahead and move. Into the first hallway. Stand in the upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. Is there anything I can take from this end table? Just look at it. Alright, let's try and open the doors. Dad's study is locked, like it always did when he was out of town. He should be around here somewhere. What? <laughs> not even a lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side, holding it shut. Can I open this one? Oh, open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. That's the end table. It's a bit spooky looking, but compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. Look at the portrait. Familiar family photograph. Comforting. Click on this lamp. Chandelier. Let's look at the chandelier. Slight flickers. It's the creepiest thing. Okay. Can I click on the rug? Let's look at the rug. Hit under this rug once. It's the wor in the worst hide and seek decision ever. All right. Well, I guess we go back. There's not a whole lot going on here. Let's look at this portrait. A little girl, maybe. She looks a little old for the rest of the picture. Who picked these out? All right. Let's just go back down. There's nothing happening here never get used to ghosts living downstairs. Alright, so I guess I have to go... Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna just... Uh, that's the hallway, that's the doorway. Let's see if I can just go this way. Into the next room. Oh, here we go. Okay. Then is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. Oh, there's something glowing over here. Let's take the film. Maybe you'll find a camera later. Maybe. Let's test the bookshelf. No secret passages. <laughs> I'm hurting myself. All right, let's play. Are there enough video games in your life right now? Wow. Okay, boomer. It's a terrifying clown picture there, by the way. That's not good. Let's look at the clock. Oh, there's uh, all these different years. Yeah, that's the year I was born. Just how old this clock really is. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm not that old. Let's sit on the couch. You're still inside. Dark, creepy perversion of your house. You snap out of the reverie. Coffee table. Can I take the remote? We're taking it. Remote inside your backpack. All right, let's use it. On the TV. You need to stop power. Nothing seems to work. Uh, no sound. No. So the TV's not working. Let's check the bookshelf. I took so many horses. <laughs> Question page turner called so many horses. That's a terrifying picture. Uh, let's see, can I turn on the oh no, that's just pictures. Alright, let's see if I can go through this door. Open this door. Hey! This door actually opens unlike all the other ones. <laughs> we need to get a new washer dryer. 
first glance, it appears exactly like you left it, other than the extra door. The dryer's running at the moment. Laundry. Smell. <laughs> Laundry does not smell good. Let's open the dryer. Dryer's not open. I can take any. Oh, I can take the detergent. Nice. I can take the dryer sheets. I, man, I can take everything. Hell yeah. Um. Can I open the washer? Oh. Washer opens easily. Um. Can I. Use the detergent on the washing machine? Seems like a reasonable amount of soap into the appropriate drawer. Okay, now can I. Let's use the washer. I have to shut the door before you can run the wash. Is there anything that I can. Maybe the old shoe? Can I put the old shoe? doesn't like that. What about the top hat? Let's shrink the top hat. What about the head? Can we wash the head? Nope. Okay. And I'm wondering, it's a lost dog fire. You should keep an eye out for Gigi. Oh, wait. I see. I went too fast. A little bundle. A lovable bundle of cuddles. Alright. Let's just keep trying to open doors and stuff. So the bathroom is locked. You knock on the door. There's no response. Oh, shoot up here. Shoot! Can I open this door? Open the closet. Whoa! Cool. I should probably save before I jump into the, the nether. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. Whoa! It's like an MC Escher painting in here. Standing at the foot of infinity. Hey, I need that. I need that. I need that. Whatever that was. Let's take the film. Take the Rubik's Cube. Oh, okay. Stuff's just farting around. Okay. Can I move to the door? Oh, don't. Okay. Move to the door. You drift away. Oh, okay. Failure standard or laundry. Okay. Let's open this door. Let's go back out. Let's go outside. Alright. So we get back outside. Let's try using the spade on the actual sandbox. Some problems too big for a shovel to solve. Okay. Let's see what else. There's a fence. There's that. Let's look at the grill. That's the Charmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Back into the house we go. We have the unending void into the MC Escher painting. I guess let's go. We can go talk to the old lady. See if anything happens. A whole bunch of different stuff, but. None of it seems to uh, be super helpful. All right, so we're gonna save again. Point, uh, key to these point and click adventures. Uh, sure, we have to at least kiss her. Uh, uh, no, good. Is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Your mother wanted me to look after you today and you're already misbehaving. Uh, I'm gonna need some proof, lady. What's the password? Password? Think you're a little old to need a password. Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't she? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run. You put some distance between the woman and yourself. You're a stranger, leave me alone. Hmm. All right, so I have to figure out how to talk to her without uh, not giving her a kiss. All right, apologize. Just in case you sit down and have some prune juice. Uh, nope, I'm good. Uh, relax in your chair and rest her chin casually on her hand. Let's talk for a bit. How was school today? All right, we'll play along. There's a lot going on. This is going to take a while. Well, there's this kid Brandon in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. Ramble on for several more minutes. And it's like, if that's how you feel, just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. Amen, brother. Uh, let's change the subject. I'm not telling this lady everything. Deadline for picking clothes is coming up in a few weeks, and I haven't made a decision. Not even sure I want to be in a club. Sometimes I wonder. You exhaust the topic of school activities and pause for a breath at which you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia room to comment for ten minutes or so. Let's let her speak. Natural point for the woman to jump in with comment. What do you think? Hmm. She trails off either lost in thought or falling asleep. Let's wake up our minds with a little prune juice and then examine the situation as a whole. Look, lady, I had the f ability to come back from the dead. Um, so I'm just going to say, nope, I'm good. Ignore her offer yet again and get back to your tail. 
Teachers are no help either, which is hard to accept, you'd think. The story is rudely interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. And Dolly is asleep, snoring, in fact. You weigh your options. Uh, let's let her sleep. There's no telling you how deeply she's sleeping. Free of the woman's uncomfortable gaze, you turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? I guess I can take this. Oh, I took the placement. Oh! What the hell? Is that what I was supposed to take? Alright, let's talk to her again. Uh, no, we're gonna put her back to sleep. Apologize. Uh huh. Uh, nope, I'm good. Uh, give details. That's it. We're gonna put her back to sleep. Uh, change the subject. Let her speak. Uh, I'm not drinking prune juice. And she's asleep again. Uh, let her sleep. Alright, so let's put some. Uh, can I pick up the prune? Oh, I can only drink it. Okay. Weed killer in the prune juice. Oh, okay. She's back. So I gotta get her to. Okay, so I took the placemat, but there's gotta be more to do than just the placemat. So let's see. Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Uh, you immediately notice a dripping sound. You strain to hear the source of the dripping. It's so faint, it will be hard to find it. You struggle with things to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. Uh, let's look at those photos. There's something else down there, something shiny. Okay. Can I not can I not just take it? I mean I uh, let's open the drawer. Ooh. It's a talisman. Decided to take the talisman. Maybe it can ward off some of this weirdness. Uh, can I use it with myself? Okay. Let's open the fridge. Ooh. Oh, purple stuff. Nice. Alright, so I think I have to swap the prune juice with the purple stuff. That's definitely what it is. God, I have so much crap in my inventory. There's no reason I should have this much stuff this early on. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Wait. Wait. Uh, hey, there's a the sponge. What am I going to clean? I take the dish soap too. Good grief. It's a panel. Okay, I guess we'll have to look back at the why. That's there. Can open the dishwasher. I'll bring your chores into stark relief. There will be time later. Okay. Alright, well, let's back out. Let's try and swap the. Um, let's see if I can swap the purple drink with the prune juice once I put her to sleep. Uh, apologize. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm not drinking your prune juice. I do uh, not... I, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't have to go through all this again, but it's fine. Uh, let her speak. I'll decline the prune juice. You can go to sleep. Alright, so now hopefully... Just swap the use this on the prune juice. Uh, she woke up again. Okay, so I did. Do I need another cup? I guess I need to look for another cup. Um, so we'll go back. Need a cup. Need a cup. Uh, you guys got a cup around here? Name me a cup. Okay. All right. So let's go back into the kitchen real quick and see if we can find a cup. Not. Nothing happening here, lady. Uh, drip drip is possible. Enjoy the... In yes, I get that. The question is, is there a cup around here? I don't see a cup. And it won't let me open the, the uh, drawer, which there certainly is. There's one in this dishwasher, and I need it. Uh, let's see if I've got anything here I can use to... Just use the dish soap on the sink. Okay. That was delightful. Thank you. I guess our next track is to figure out how we can swap the prune juice because that's a million percent what we're supposed to do. Uh, the question is just how do we do that? So we'll figure it out next time. Goosebumps!